Arlo Guthrie made that Steve Goodman song famous almost 40 years ago. And tonight, Amtrak's City of New Orleans train rolled into the hurricane-ravaged hub, the last leg of Arlo's moving mission to save the music. It all started in Chicago 11 days ago when Arlo Guthrie played a benefit concert at the Vic on Chicago's north side. Since then, Arlo, his family, and friends have been making their way towards New Orleans to raise money specifically for musicians. Steve Sanders had a chance to ride the rails with them. Steve. Uh, listen, what an adventure it was. You know, perhaps no city has given birth to more original American music than New Orleans. What Arlo Guthrie envisioned was a mission of mercy right through the heart of middle America on the southbound train they call the city of New Orleans. Nighttime on the city of New Orleans Changing cars in Memphis, Tennessee All right. Oh Halfway home and we'll be there this by morning This train has uh, the been a part of my life uh, sort of inadvertently, uh, just because of the connection to the song, The City of New Orleans. We were watching this thing unfold on the TV, like millions of people around the world, and it just seemed to get worse and worse. I saw this little ticker, you know, the scroll across the screen, saying that Amtrak was going to resume service to New Orleans on the City of New Orleans, and I thought, you know, now there's something that we could do but there's people who need to know that somebody gives a damn. These things are spiritual things for me. It's kind of hard to explain. I'll, I'll probably be in tears a couple of times during the show. I think this is wonderful. God bless Arlo. You know, this is a total grassroots sort of thing, and um, we kind of put this together in like three weeks. Sarah Lee Guthrie is the youngest of Arlo and Jackie's four children. She and her husband, Johnny Irian, are a talented duo of singer-songwriters. As I bow to grace, Guthrie sisters Annie and Kathy sing too, but they also organize this trip. Their brother Abe plays the keyboard. They're the third generation of Guthrie's making music with powerful messages. Woody Guthrie wrote ballads about the 1930s era Dust Bowl. Just like Katrina, the Dust Bowl uprooted tens of thousands of Americans. I had to pack up and go. So again, the Guthrie's are working to raise awareness of a national tragedy. From New Orleans, a wonderful guitar player and singer, Jack Nielsen. Do not think about tomorrow. If those guys are playing, there'll be people walking up and down the streets. And those people will need food to eat in restaurants and they'll need hotels to stay in and those institutions will need people working in them so they'll need housing and they'll need schools for their kids and stuff the spirit is still there but uh, it's just been hard hit by mother nature you know and it's got to come back around it's just it's going to take a long time it's just an amazing experience and such a positive force you know Heading back to New Orleans this way on this train bound for glory. Well, this train is bound for glory. This train is bound for glory. So on this night, the train whose namesake is now a city on its knees rumbles south across the Illinois prairie, bringing music and hope to a place that has little to sing about. This is one of those times when every American and people around the world can all work together on something that's obviously important. And I think if we begin to do that in this small little way, maybe we can see a little bit of what it might be like to do it in some of the bigger things. However it works out, I think we will at least know that we did what we could. What a nice family. Arlo and friends will play two more benefit concerts Friday and Saturday nights at the uh, 
world famous Tipitinas in New Orleans, and Willie Nelson, who also recorded City of New Orleans, or will join them. Really? That's right. For more information on this trip and how you can help, you can log on to our website at WGNTV.com. Oh, Should be quite an event down there at Tipitinas. You know how much I love Willie Nelson, but uh, it's great to see the musicians come in to help their own. It is. It, it's so hard to imagine New Orleans without, without music. all that great music, and right. that's, that's why Arlo and his family are working so hard to make sure it comes back. A lot of people don't know that you play the guitar extremely well. Did you get a chance to play jam with them a I little bit? I jammed a little bit with them, yeah. <laughs> Great bunch of guys. Yeah. All right. My head is like a sieve. We have more. the full promise of Congress that one day it will be paid for. Right. That, 225 will get you a cup of coffee at Starbucks. Can you go see Freebird? I don't have to play it. Okay. Waiting on Willie. He's gonna sing that song he made famous on Jerome again. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just can't wait to get back on Jerome. I'll tell you a funny story. Paul Williams, the songwriter, you know, my brother travels with. My brother does a dead-on impersonation of Willie. So Paul Williams flew my brother out to LA to record this song that he's trying to sell Willie. So we could hear how it would sound. If Willie sang, Willie sang it. <laughs> Look like the princess, night with me. With your hair piled up high, I will never forget. Drunk right now, baby, as I got to be. I could never tell you what you mean to me. I love you, I love you the first time I saw you. Always love you, Marie. In the song the trees sing. River, you're a rainbow. Sometimes I'm crazy, but I guess you know. Weekend I'm lazy, and I hurt you so. I love you, I love you the first time I saw you. The trees sing when the wind blows. You will flower a river, you're a rainbow. Sometimes I'm crazy, but I guess you know. Weekend I'm lazy, and I hurt you so. But I love you. I love you the first time I saw you. Always will love you. Not really a train, a train song. Well, it's, it's, it's a great song. It's gorgeous. That's an uh, old. Uh, Randy Newman's on here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, he... What's the flooding song he did? Yeah, 1927. 1927, yeah, the flood. That's kind of scary. Huh? That's kind of scary. Yeah, well, yeah, it is. Well, it's prophetic, wasn't it? I, report, I recorded him doing it at Jazz Fest this year, and Marsha Ball did her version. Randy Newman did the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Marsha Ball does it. Yeah, okay. Cool. What is happening? Uh, let me tell you something about Marsha Ball. Yeah. Uh, my brother wrote her. Okay. 
Uh, other than Cyril, you're the only full-time musician from New Orleans uh, on the tour, I think. Well, I'm the only other yeah. one, Sorry. one from New Orleans, and because uh, he was more, much more full-time than I was in New Orleans. Well, tell me, though, uh, it didn't just physically devastate that city. It, it devastated a whole lot more. Uh, talk to me about that. Well, it, it devastated the, the heart and the soul you know, of New Orleans in so many ways, in so many different levels, and so many different people. And at the show tonight, a woman came up to me that had lost her house and uh, lived in Lake Lakeview, about the lakefront. Yeah. It just depended on depends on where you happen to live and where you happen to get hit, you know. And you know if you it, she didn't have to say any more. All she had to say was where she lived, and, and uh, that's all the words we had to speak. And and you know that's all there was to it. They had a child with them that you know they were all displaced and. They go on back, they have the will to go back and the means to go back, so they're going to go back and try to live there again. Yeah, but a lot of people are not going to do that, not going to be able to, to do that. That's trouble, is it? It's very, it's very different, you know. Instead of a half a million people, maybe there's going to be 250,000 or less. You know, that's that's amazing for a city, just for the metro metro area. That's That's a huge change you know the French Quarter is is a magical organic was a magical organic place and still is but it's different right now because it's mostly filled with people that are there working for recovery purposes you know or uh, agencies or insurance companies or whatever it's not the normal French Quarter you know right it, it, it's not that uh, it's not that cultural mix that created uh, the like, music that like this one from a See? I got a gal who's mighty sweet, big brown eyes, tiny feet. She goes by Roosevelt McGee, and she tips old scales at 303. Oh, gee. Ain't it great to have a gal so big and fat that when you go to hug, you don't know where you're at, you have to take a piece of chalk in your hand. Walk her off and chalk her off to see where you began one day. I was a hugging and a chalking, and a chalking and a hugging away. I met some other fella, some chalk in his hand. He was coming around the other way, other side of the mountain. He came around the other way. Well, I ain't going and I ain't weak. My bones don't ache and my joints don't squeak. But I get absolutely limp Every time I kiss my baby blimp One day I was a hug, chugging and chugging And a chugging and a hugging away Oh, but so one day I got the urge for something meaner She was meaner than a mink in a pen So now I'm happy with some chalk in my hand Hugging and chalking all day long round my roses. Hugging and chalking all day. That's New Orleans. You know, that's like a, maybe from Storyville days, you know? Right, right. Right, maybe on, a, right on the brothels, you know? You know, and you know, actually, it's kind of, yeah, that's, that's from way back then. You know? Yeah. But uh, you know, the spirit is still there, but uh, it's just been hard hit by Mother Nature, you know? and. It's got to come back around. It's just, it's going to take a long time. Well, it's troubling a lot of the people who helped create that, the backdrop by which those songs were written. Uh, yeah. People say they're not coming back. So a lot of them say that, you know, I mean, the, like I said, the big plan I've heard from some is that it's a plan for that many less people and and it's going to be, if it may be a decade. Yeah. Realistically. Jack, what's your own situation? Um, my own is that I'm the luckiest evacuee I've met so far. Yeah. There's one one other that runs a close second, but I found out his story post Katrina. But um, I was very lucky and didn't, you know, my family is fine and uh, your house. Yeah, I, I didn't have, you know, I evacuated and made a big circle and after a long story back to New Orleans and uh, didn't didn't have anything to speak of really except for, you know. 
you know, pick, you know, personal things that, you know, priceless kind of things. You, you know, lost your house? They get flooded. No, no. Okay. Just things where I put them uh-huh. in a, one of my sister's places, you know, that just flooded. In a, yeah. So I thought the basement was the safest place at the time. I, I made a bad decision about that. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I mean, like I said, I'm the luckiest evacuee I know. I don't joke around about it because so many people lost yeah. lives and, and still are, are in so much pain. And and right now, um, what we're doing is such a, to be a part of something. This is Arlo Guthrie and this family and foundation everybody put together. It's just an amazing experience and such a positive force, you know, heading back to New Orleans this way on this yeah. train bound, bound for glory that... Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm just real, real happy to be a part of it. And, sure, well, I, I appreciate you talking to us. You know any train songs? Boy, they were talking at the end of train songs last night, and nothing was popping up. And uh, it's lullaby. That's beautiful. Yeah. Did you perform that one tonight? Last night? I tried to. Yeah, that, that's a good one. I like that. Uh, it's one that uh, really I've only learned because of Arnold Guthrie. So did he write that? Uh, written by another man and but he played it so so he played it wonderfully Towns drift slowly by Can't you hear the steel bells hum? It's the hobo's lullaby Do not think about Let tomorrow come and go Tonight you're in a nice warm box car Safe from all the wind and snow It cause trouble everywhere When you die and go to heaven There won't be no police there Know your clothes are torn and ragged Ooh. And your hair is turning green Lift your head and smile at trouble You'll find happiness someday Sleep, you weary hobo. Let the towns drift slowly by. Can't you hear the steel rails humming? It's a hobo's lullaby. It's a hobo's lullaby. That's your, uh, thanks. I like, uh, we're on the train that, uh. And, uh, so we're looking forward to seeing what, you know, happens. 
Because what's happened so far is that all of these different sort of groups of people that don't normally play together, well, once you get them up on the stage, they won't leave. <laughs> so the next guys come up, and the first guys are still there. And then there's other guys that come up, and, and it's been a nightmare. <laughs> but it's been a good one. Uh, like I said, most of these people are people I've known, but let me introduce to you right now somebody who I just got to meet a few days ago from New Orleans, a wonderful guitar player and singer, Jack Nielsen. Hi, y'all. I'm real glad to be here. That is the real Arlo Guthrie. <laughs> <laughs> This is a song I, I've heard because of Arlo Guthrie. song off of my CD that's uh, about friends and, and this is one of the most friendliest experiences I've ever had in my life and a uh, most enjoyable one. It's a great way to, to get back to New Orleans riding the, the train of glory back to New Orleans with to see you again I missed your point of view brings me back to the day Only best friends know I don't know when it happened to me That part became history Such a wonder, it ain't no crying. Ooh, mm -hmm. 
No, you gotta get back to Little ones are waiting for you Give them a hug for me Thank you all, thanks. Maybe you've been to that little cemetery. I don't know, that's where I found myself. In.
Thanks. Keep it in that up, up, upbeat spirit. Bobby didn't leave too much behind Except an awful lot of pain Birds for her The angels were so near Only a picture-perfect smile If only Anna was here She never knew she could be a half a century old She never knew she could be a half And it was over at Barsoni's We'd have a cup of tea Ooh, and keep your candles burning Cause they're always, always Thank you all. Thanks very much. It's a great show, so stick. It's going to be a great show. You're going to love it. Have a great, great afternoon.